The first game jitters are gone now, Dick. Both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Tar Heels are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. First, challenge every shot from the perimeter. Get right up in their faces, baby. Secondly, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get their big men into foul trouble. Lastly, play solid fundamental defense. And don't get caught gambling. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. The power forward with the ball. And they get the turnover. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Went away from the post and goes the other way. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. Oh, what a strip, Red. Goes for the aggressive steal. You gotta be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brad. If you miss, you could be in trouble. On the outside. For two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Garrison is feeling great right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. He up fakes. That's a high post screen, close to the lane. Perfectly executed. He wants a three, gets it to fall. the dribble gives it up he attempts the three the Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple he got the steal the pressure got to the ball handler well some ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession with a jump hook I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. There's a slam. The center gets the ball. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> The shooting guard takes the pass. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Great anticipation defensively. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket.
They look to get it to the inside. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Nick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. He shoots from the top of the circle. Sinks it. The center gets the pass. They still don't score. Ball movement, get that good spacing. The shooting guard takes the feed. He fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Morgan fakes the shot. Defense is right up on him, not giving any open looks. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Trying to go inside. Garrison pounded on his way up. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Free throw is good. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. The ball goes out of bounds. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Slam jam bam, up and away, the elevator man, they love it. Gave it up. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Dumps it in. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Mississippi State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. On the dribble, gives it up, fakes it. Trying to stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding that basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. High post flashes for the ball handler. Gave it up. Here's a double team. That helps got to come quicker. Hey, very slow on a double team, Brad. On the inside. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Doesn't go. Working around the perimeter. In the paint. Set that screen away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Perfectly executed. There he is. Strips the ball loose. Nice step in it, man. 
Take a look right here. Little Barista go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Trying to feed inside. A little frustration right there. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. On the outside. With the fake. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Shoots. North Carolina are in a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. They'll work it around the arc. Will take the shot. Can't get it to go. They work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Turns it over. Laid it on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick with the score so close. Both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Thanks, Aaron. And the ball goes out of bounds. up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. And the ball goes out of play. Good fake. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Kicks it out. Looking for a good shot. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of with the block. The ball goes out of bounds. something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. You've got that right, Brad. High post flashes for the opportunity. Stop and pop. Buried it. Let's go to the videotape for that one. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. goes out of play. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. No, no, no. 
Got a man in high post. He strokes it. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Ten seconds to put up a shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Defense taking away any open looks. And the ball goes out of bounds. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Let's it fly. Ten seconds to shoot. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps into the defender. to draw the foul. Nice shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Number 22 grabs it. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Goes up for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Way off target. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's the trap. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Gave it up. He makes the block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball.
Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. They work the perimeter. Leans in. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Intercepted. He's open if he wants the shot with a great block. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. Look at that spacing. Here's the three ball. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Fake. The fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. Nicky V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. Puts up the shot. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's a double team waiting there for the bucket. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Strips the ball, and back they come the other way. For two, basket falls despite the contact. In the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really? Th and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Now working around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby. What hops. <laughs> Opportunity for two for one. Goes up for two. Gets it to go. Looking for a good shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tanum. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Shot clock is dead. Nice fake. He looks at the hoop. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Bulldogs are behind by 23. Best play of that half. Let's take another look.
North Carolina is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. Got the high pick. The shooting guard handles the pass. He lets it fly. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Tries for two. And he missed. It's stolen. Nice high post screen. He gets the bucket. The Tar Heels are ahead by 25. Gave it up. The center handles the feed. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. He shoots from outside, drains the shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The shooting guard receives the pass. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. On the outside. Picked off. Tries for two. The lay -in. That's still unanswered. Town. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Takes away the pass. They're going to call that a backcourt violation. Somebody got a little nervous that time, Rod. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. Picks off the pass. Dump it inside. The fake. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. play anticipated well if you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action they can't stop this guy Dave. want to give him a try Brian? if only my knees weren't aching on the outside on the dribble gives it up for the deuce he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score Nice look at the basket. 
He dials long distance. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Takes the pass in the paint. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Jumped in front to take it away. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. He intercepts it. It was a good thing he got fouled off that pro hop. I can tell he wanted to do something nasty, Brad. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. The Bulldogs will step to the line for the first time. First one, good. Doesn't go. He gets the rebound. They work it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. That one's off. Puts it up, looking for contact. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Gave it up. Robs him of the ball. Center it, center it. He nails the bucket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picks off the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. The center receives the ball. Trying to take some pride on the defensive end. He comes away with it. For two, Mississippi State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Steals the pass. With a deep pass for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Two, in and out. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting off. They're working around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Look at that spacing. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. <laughs> Tries for two. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. Gave it up. Hey, hey, hey. 
There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Pick up the defense here now. Takes the shot way off target. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. He puts up the three ball. The three balls had a better start flying, baby. Plus this one's almost over. They come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. For the bucket, they just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. Gives it up. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. It's good. Let the replay show us the real deal. because of the wall-to-wall -wall Carolina Blue inside the Dean Dome. Well, that's not it, though. It's numerous championship banners, retired jerseys, over 21,000 fans on occasion. It's a special place. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. Gave it up, puts it on the floor, and up and under. I got a great job of the ball fake that created the up-and-under move. And good footwork, it's essential with an up-and-under move to utilize good footwork. Jumped in front to take it away. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The rump is up, baby. This one's gotten ugly. He goes for the trifecta. He gets it to fall. Great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 22 makes a great move to draw the foul. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot, good. Yeah.
gets two at the charity strike. Turnover. I'm not talking out the turnovers either. Goes in. Gave it up. For the bucket. Makes the shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. That's good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? The Tar Heels have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Hinton in the paint. Dick, not a bad drop step. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. He launches the bomb way off target. Jumps in. for the foul, and he scores despite the hack. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. He strips him clean. He got the dunk to go plus the foul. Hey, I applaud this young man for taking this kind of punishment in the air, Brad. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Just like in practice. Wow, the screener is back to school on that pick. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Picked off. Outside. Great defense. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Picks off 
the lazy pass. Working it around the perimeter. Adam in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He shoots from the top of the key. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He pump fakes. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position, good angle, and then the drop step. Now they work it around the perimeter. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. On the inside, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Went away from the post and goes the other way. On the dribble, gives it up. And one too many dribbles and a steal. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. to take it away. Moving it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Look at that spacing. on the guy in the post to go the other way. He tries the three ball. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He throws it up from downtown. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Tries for two. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. And he's on fire. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. He fires it up. He drains the bucket. Obvious foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach.
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what, let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Now the high screen. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Tar Heels graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.